In this video, I'm going to show you how to add wholesale pricing in WooCommerce. And this is what we will achieve by the end of this video. Your wholesale customers will have the opportunity to see your regular prices as well as the wholesale prices. You can also decide to do away with the regular price and only display the wholesale price for your wholesale customers. This particular feature comes in handy if you run both retail and wholesale e-commerce store. So if this is what you want, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So to add wholesale pricing in WooCommerce, I'm going to install a plugin. To add wholesale pricing in WooCommerce, I go to the back end of my website, then I go over to plugins, click on add new. Under search plugins, I search for WooCommerce wholesale. And this is the plugin I'm going to install wholesale suite WooCommerce wholesale prices and B2B plugin by Ramira Web. There are a whole lot of WooCommerce wholesale plugins, but this is the one I'm going to install. I go ahead and click on install now. Then I click on activate. Plugin activated successfully and you see wholesale menu right here. Now if I go to dashboard, it will show us some few statistics. You get the total number of wholesale orders and wholesale revenue. This section will show you top wholesale customers and recent wholesale orders. Next is orders which will display all the orders that have been made by wholesale customers. Followed by roles, I'll click on roles. In here, the default role for wholesale customer is wholesale customer. And the plugin will also give you the opportunity to specify other wholesale roles. However, you can only get this feature when you upgrade to the pro version of the plugin. The plugin also has other form feature and lead capture feature. All these are in the pro version of the plugin. Finally, I go over to settings and this will take me to WooCommerce settings. Going down, allow usage tracking. This is for the plugin. If you want them to track your usage of the plugin, you can go ahead and take this. You can also decide to disable coupons for wholesale users. So if I check this, wholesale customers will not have the opportunity to benefit from my coupons but I'll uncheck this for now next I go to price this is a text you see for the wholesale price if you want to change it you can go ahead and do that next is high retail price so at the moment if I set wholesale price the wholesale customers will be able to see the retail price as well as the wholesale price however the retail price will be crossed out so if I don't want wholesale customers to see the retail price I can go ahead and check this box but I'll uncheck it for now next is always use regular price this feature will give you the opportunity to calculate your wholesale prices by using global discounts next is variable product price display how do you want to display your variable products currently it is set to price range that is from the lowest price to the highest price the rest of the options can be found in the premium version of the plugin so we just have to stick to price range. Next is high wholesale price on admin product listing. This I will not advise you to do this because if you check this, you as an administrator will not have the opportunity to add wholesale prices. So you don't want to check this. You can also hide price and add to cart button by checking this box. You can replace price and add to cart button message by entering whatever text you want to enter here. Finally, you can decide to show wholesale price on non-wholesale users. So if you check this, users of your website who are not wholesale customers will have the opportunity to see wholesale prices. And this will serve as a kind of motivation for them to also become your wholesale customers. So if you make some changes, all what you need to do is go ahead and click on save changes. Next, I go to tax. You can only work with the tax feature when you upgrade to the pro version of the plugin. For instance, if I try to check this, you see that I will be required to upgrade. But I just want to use the free version of the plugin. Now that we have seen the features of the plugin, let's go to products. Then I go ahead and edit this product. Scrolling down to product data, you see that I now have wholesale prices as part of my pricing system. So all what I need to do is enter my wholesale price right here. 
at the moment this is my regular price and it cannot be the same as my wholesale price so my wholesale price can be maybe sixty dollars then i go ahead and update now if i view this product in a new private window i wouldn't see the wholesale price until i log in as a wholesale customer meanwhile i've not set any wholesale customer yet let's see if i'll be able to see the wholesale price if i log in as a customer i go to my account i go ahead and log in okay i've logged in next i go over to products then I go ahead and click on the set product and you see that I still cannot see the wholesale price so what I'm going to do is make this particular customer a wholesale customer so I go to the back end of my website then I go over to users I'll open that in a new tab so this is the user and he's just a customer so I go ahead and click on edit scrolling down to rule i drop down the arrow then i choose wholesale customer i scroll to the end then i go ahead and update now if i go to the new private window and refresh you see that i now have wholesale price so the regular price is crossed out and the wholesale price will be applicable to me awesome so if a customer is not set as a wholesale customer, they will not be able to benefit from the wholesale prices. So as a shop owner, you have to make sure that you assign the wholesale customer rule to all your wholesale customers. Remember, you can go ahead and do away with the regular price so that you only display the wholesale price to your wholesale customers. But in my opinion, displaying the regular price will give your wholesale customers as to how much they can price their own products. So that's it on how to add wholesale pricing in WooCommerce. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.